Reed. One of us. Go. I didn't sleep a wink last night. Really? Well, frankly, I don't know how you slept for the past, uh, sorry, how long was it you were screwing your best mate's missus? So, she um, obviously hasn't made any contact with you, has she? Otherwise, you wouldn't be standing there accusing him of killing her. No. Mm. This could all be sour grapes, couldn't it? After all, she left you too, didn't she? So, I presume you've spoken to her parents. She fell out with her parents, hasn't spoken to them since uh, the 80s. Siblings? None. Friends? No one's heard from her. Any history of disappearing? Uh, once, when she was a kid. So, this was a pattern. Once, 20 years ago, isn't a pattern. So. So why else would he lie about her clearing their account? Exactly. That's not a rhetorical question. I don't want to be doing this. But I have witnessed his behavior firsthand. Uh, the drinking, the obsession with going after Dean. The notes, I think, that he is sending himself. Flashbacks about Lucia, flashbacks about Lucia leaving that night. Yeah, the fight he now remembers that they had the night she left. I have lived with this for three months. And I've prayed there are some other explanations. You said she went to France, didn't you? Yeah. Said she rang from the Garden Nord. Airline, ferry, tunnel records. Check his phone bills. And then? Well, she went to France. We forget this conversation ever happened, and you apply for a transfer. And if she didn't? We'll jump off that bridge when we come to it. Yes! Oh, Mac. Hi. Sorry, am I interrupting? No, no. Um, DC Reed's finished here. Boss. So, Mac, what can I do for you? Find a motive, find an opportunity, you said. Try these for size. Coffee? Oh, yeah. Nearly done. Yeah. Well, you went at that like a man possessed. Yeah, well, I don't like mess, Jim. What are we going to do, John? Well, Stan's not just going to go away, is he? No, I don't think he is. The things you were saying, Jen. You don't have to say anything. Well, he even suggested I lied about my amnesia. I don't know who I was. You know, in here, I don't know. But do you know what? In here, in my gut, I think I know. And I think I know it's not me. And I don't feel like letting him ruin our lives. So either he gives us some hard evidence or he just leaves us alone. Hello? Uh, hi, Mark. Hi. Well, you want me to come up now, this afternoon? You do this drive yourself? Yeah, two hour fifty one way, six hour round trip. Could have set the fire and been back at the hotel for breakfast. You've got to hand it to him, haven't you? I mean, he is good. Didn't rush things, didn't get greedy, didn't just disappear when the insurance money came through. Very smart man. So, what exactly is it that you want, Mac? Well, the most important thing is proving that he is Paul West. 
If we can't do that, it doesn't matter whether he killed his family or not. We don't have a suspect. He rang this morning. He wants to make a formal complaint, said you turned up at a private party, that you were drunk. No, yeah, right. That you were ranting. <laughs> I have no doubt he'll do whatever it takes to protect his future. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I think Jenna Dean is safe for now, as far as the life insurance money goes. He's not going to try and kill her with me breathing down his neck. So? We don't know what clues to his past his wife might hold, nor, I suspect, does she. What if my allegations have rattled her, made her remember things that only now seem curious? If he thought for one second that she was going to act in any of those anxieties, if he thought she was going to tell us anything that would incriminate him, I think he'd kill her like that. Disappeared before the blood was dry. It's just not possible, Mark. Well, I'm just telling you what they told me. If you ever did have amnesia, you certainly don't now. But wh well, what do you think? I mean, Jesus, you think I've been lying to you all these years? I don't know. Have you? No, I haven't. I'm not a doctor, Mark. I can't counter what they've said with science. All I can tell you is what I know to be the truth. I don't remember a single thing before the day I walked into A&E, and I never have. I'm, I'm sorry if you feel I've let you down or, or made, you look, made you look foolish in any way. It was never my intention. Goodbye. Breakthroughs yet. Yeah, I need all the passenger names for one week from 24th of April, travelling from London Waterloo to Paris. Yeah, sure. It's given me a week. A week? Yeah, to find a conclusive link between Dean and West. Then he'll start a formal investigation. Oh, that's great. So what's this other job we need you on? Oh, yeah, it's um, boring stuff. Just want some extra pair of eyes on a noble. All right, well, look, as soon as you're finished there. Eh? Yeah, sure. Paul would never have harmed a hair on their heads. He loved my sister and he loved little Stephen like he was his own. I'm still going to need the names and address of other members of your family, of other people that worked with him. In fact, anyone, anyone that might have known him. Well. Good. I'd also like to arrange a meeting between you and him. Please, I, I can't, please. Anne, Anne, he drugged your sister. He poured alcohol down her throat. He set fire to her. He let your nephew burn to death. I think you, I think you owe it to them. Could you find him here? No, I've checked. Nothing from Paris or anywhere in France came through the switchboard that week. And no passenger booked a seat in her name on the train, airlines or ferries. Well, I don't want to make it official yet, because if we're wrong, mud sticks. Sorry, your complaint fell in deaf ears. Oh, not that deaf. Your boss wasn't exactly falling over himself to sing your praises. And yet here I am, on his orders. What do you want, Detective? We have a business to run. I want to bring someone to see you, Paul. John. Who? Your last wife's sister. Oh, gee, what is this? Hmm? Do you, you think my husband is some sort of a freak, a circus act people can come and gawp at? All right, John. I've always said I couldn't prove who I was. Because whatever you may think, Detective, I can't remember. But the body has other ways of telling you who you are, and they tell me loud and clear it's not me. So you bring whoever you want, and maybe you'll see that and leave us alone. Good. She's in the car. Yeah. 
Tell the truth, Anne, all right? That's all I expect of you. Nothing to be scared of. Nothing at all. You remember Anne, Paul? She's missed you, wondered why you haven't been in touch. I don't know this man. Look more closely. Really, I've never seen him before in my life. Look at his eyes. I am! You're not. You can't be. Otherwise, you'd see as him. No! This man is not my sister's husband. Anne, Anne. No, leave Anne. me alone. My God, is this all you have now? Is this what fills the void? The void? The one your wife created when she left you. My wife? Would you know about my wife? Oh, I've done my homework, too. Do you know what? I've been met you several times, and I can't blame her for disappearing. Mind you, they say Paris is very... Shut your mouth, OK? You don't talk about my wife. You, you stop do this! Talk you talk about... stop this now! She didn't don't... recognize me. You have no case. She's wrong. You okay, Mike? Am I losing it, Ian? Have I got this all wrong? wrong with a the theory. Men kill their wives all the time. Yeah. Any number of reasons. Money, boredom, jealousy. Just need the evidence, Mick. Yeah. Or a confession. That'd be best for everyone, I think. Busy day tomorrow. And uh, do you remember Mr. West talking about any medications that he was taking? Was he uh, aggressive? Did his weight change much? Did you ever see him thinner? Violent? Did he ever mention? Did he have any significant dental work that you can recall? Did he always wear glasses? What was Mr. West's voice like? Was it high? Was it deep? Do you know if he was a strong Did swimmer? Did his accent ever change? Did he ever use sunbeds or tanning products? Dr. Denton? Yes? My name is D.S. Stone. Lucia! Mr. Stone wanted to know what you looked like when you first came to the hospital. He wanted photos of you before the reconstructive surgery. Did you, um... Did 
Do you tell him anything? What Stanage and Carey proposed was an experiment. Experiments can and do fail. I have a certain reputation, John, and I need and want to protect that. No, I didn't help Stanage. In fact, I didn't tell him anything. Right. The Stanish and Carey have left now, and I can see no reason why we should ever have to speak to them again. I'm going to forget about their conclusions, and I suggest you do the same. like being reduced to listening at doorways. Oh, Why didn't you tell me? Why do you think? Well, <laughs> to be honest, I'm slightly struggling with that one. Because of the baby. Because I didn't want you to be stressed and anxious and worried. Well, OK. OK, but why do you think I might have got anxious or worried or stressed? Well, obviously, because you might have thought Stanich was right. And is he? Well, Mark doesn't seem to think so. Yes, well, Mark has a reputation to protect. Oh, so you think I've made it all no, up? No, that's not what I said. Oh, well, we're going to all be one happy family. Oh, don't put this on me. Oh, well, hey, you know, you're only two months down the line. You know, still got plenty of time. What? Oh, forget it. No, wait, oh, what? Just what did forget you just it. Say? John! Stranger? Yeah, hi. Come in. Yeah. What's this? Spring cleaning. About to take your advice? What advice is that? About loose. Move on, you said. Forget her. Yeah, I didn't say remove all traces of it. <sighs> Feels good, though. I feel freer. You want a drink? No, thanks. It smells the hardest. Can't seem to get rid of her scent. Yeah? Well, I can smell his bleach. Yeah. She's still here. You still having the nightmares? Yeah, well. Maybe this'll do the trick, eh? Yeah. So, um, what do you do with it all? All this stuff? Bend it. I saw John Dean yesterday. Oh, yeah? He's been doing some digging on me. Why would he do that? Don't know, mate. It's not illegal. Uh, Knows his way around a computer, though. He knows stuff about Lucy and me, stuff that he really shouldn't know. Yeah? And? Well, got me thinking. What's the best way for him to get me off his back? To discredit me. To destabilise me. I think John Dean is the one sending me the notes. Do you think he's getting rid of evidence? I don't know what he's doing. I just think we need to get in there before he turns the place into a sterile shell. This was at my house when I got in last night. Same typeface on the jiffy as there was on the notes. Lab had a look at the mud on the phone. Clay-based, same as you'd find at the back of Mac's house. And you think it's hers? Well, the SIM card's missing. Her serial number's gone, but I checked her phone records. It's the same model, the same make as hers. So he's sending us some evidence and destroying the rest? Well, I think that's exactly the mental state he's in. So, search warrant? Then he'll know we're on to him. What are we looking for, boss? Concealment of evidence of a violent row. New paint on walls, skirting new carpets, tiles. Be in and out in a couple of hours. But if we find something, it's inadmissible. Then we go back. Then we make it official.
Can we talk? Yeah, hang on a sec. Do you want this baby? I want what you want. It's not answering the question. If I wasn't pregnant, would you have chosen to have a baby now? Well, there's never a right time. Oh, you won't answer the question. No, because this isn't about timing. I mean, of course it's not the right time. You know, you just started a business, we're short on money, I'm being accused. And that's the point, actually. It's you that's not sure. No. Yes, Jen. Because there's that question there now. I don't blame you for being unsure about having my child. Here are Mr West's files. Thank you, Kate. Okay. So this was a company she set up after she met West. Oh, she wouldn't have done it without Paul. It was him that really encouraged her to uh, follow her dream. And how much did this dream cost? A lot. She borrowed uh, so 20,000 from the bank, another 40 from her parents. Her own savings added another 30 odd. And when you came to wind it up? It was about 100 in the red. And how long? <sighs> Eight months. That's a lot of money. Where did it all go? As I say, the accounts were a mess. The life insurance people, they never queried any of this? Well, they asked a lot of questions, but everything was in order. In fact, it was Susan who'd insisted on the life insurance. And why was that? Because <laughs> of the accident. Accident? Hmm. What accident? Four months before the fire, there was an accident at the machine shop. Some piece of equipment came loose. West miraculously saves her life. Ten days later, she takes out life insurance. Coincidence. They happen. <laughs> You're missing the point, boss. This shows that he was already practised with Susan West. He already had a slick M.O. Look, why can't I find anything that roots Paul West? No family, no photos, no doctor's records, no friends, no nothing. Why? Because West wasn't real either. Exactly, exactly. His national insurance number, his passport, his birth certificate, they're all fake. He's a fiction, just like Dean. So who was he before it was West? Yeah. And before that, and before that, how many identities has he had? And how many people has he killed? I've just given him permission to spend the afternoon over in records. Why? Well, he, he wants to trawl through for more dead wives with disappeared husbands. Oh, Jesus. You don't think there's anything in what he's saying? So that gives us a couple of hours. We're going to do it? No, no, you're going to stay with him. Oh. Call me the second he leaves. <sighs> yeah. You know, West was 25 when he met Susan, so we can assume he selected an identity near enough an age to his own. Absolutely. If you think I'm way off track, what are you doing here, Ian? I come here for the same reason as you. Get to the truth. All right. All right. Well, we're only interested in cases where the missing person was believed to have committed suicide and the body was never found, and where the disappearance was prompted by the death of someone close to them. Yeah? All right, you do July 94 to December, I'll do January onwards. Mm -hmm.
Alright, I'm done. Right. Um, I'm only as far as November. You want to split the rest of mine? No. I want to get back, get started on these while I'm still focused. You bring yours around this evening? Yeah, sure. All right. See you later. It's me. He's on his way. He's left early. Um, he'll be there in about 20 minutes. I'm going to call you on his landline. Gotta get out of there. What? Mike will be there any minute. He left early. I found blood. Get out now. Yes, yes, I'm going.
Look, we'll get the case files on it. Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Why? Shouldn't I be? You seem a bit on edge, or so. Who do you think I saw this afternoon either as I got back? Who did I see driving away from here? Okay, listen, Mac. Why is she doing this to me? Why is who doing this to you? Lucia. She was just sitting outside the house in a car watching me. Why is she tormenting me like this? Listen, I want to help you, Mike, I really do, but I don't think I can, unless you stop being honest with yourself and me. What, well, you think I imagined it? You know you did. How do you, how do you know what? You think I killed her, don't you? Don't you? I don't know. Did you? You think I'm seeing ghosts? You're seeing something, aren't you? Hey, look at these files. Oh, forget the files. They're an irrelevance, a distraction. The whole John Dean thing is a smokescreen. You know it is. Bye, Ian. Mac. Bye. Whatever you decide. You'll support me, thanks. No, I'm just trying to make it easier for oh, you. Right. I'm sorry. If I do it, I do it now. I can't carry a life around inside me, feeling it grow. I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep it or not. No, I understand. So I have a place booked in the clinic tomorrow. Yeah, well, uh, of course I'll, I'll uh, be there with you. It's going to be such a busy year. Yeah. The timing's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the only reason we're doing this. Yeah. I just rang. Um, the tests are positive. It is blood. Whose? I got Max records up. It's not his. So I've traced Lucia's parents and uh, organized a blood test. How long? She'd had results by closet play today. Right. Did you love her, Ian? Lucia, I mean, was it just sex, or did you really love her? Why'd you ask that? Did you? Yes. I loved her. She 
So did you go round to her house on the night she disappeared? No. Why? It's uh, D.S. Mike Stone here from Hanstead Nick. I need a current address on a Shirley Jane Heaton, probably Truebridge area. Yeah, I'll wait. Apart from DNA, what's the only thing that can link you to a past identity? Um, don't know. A child. West's kid wasn't his, but Roy Collins' wife was pregnant when she died. Who the hell's Roy Collins? Roy Collins is John Dean before he was Paul West. Right. Yeah. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah, that'll be it. All right. Thanks very much. Thank you. I'll bet you anything you like, Jenna Dean's pregnant. Gets him pregnant, stages an accident, encourages them to take out life insurance, except now that he knows I'm on to him, he'll be persuading her to get rid of it. Not overtly, just, you know, clever little psychological games. And if she does, fine, no problem. We're ready, Mrs. Dean. Actually, I, I need a few minutes, if that's OK. Of course. But if she doesn't get rid of it, well, the child will be a link. He'll have to kill her. Roy was such a lovely man. We were just so pleased for Shirley when they met. How did they meet? Uh, Wine bar, as I remember. She'd just been through a rather nasty divorce. And Roy, he's like a breath of fresh air. She was so in love with him. How long had they been married? A year and a half. And, uh, were they going to start a family? She was eight weeks pregnant when she died. Right. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. On the phone, you asked for a photo of Roy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it was only when I came to look that I remembered. Roy hated having his photo taken. Well, he was like that. He had these little eccentricities. I think that's partly what attracted Shirley to him. What kind of eccentricities? I was wondering, did Paul have any unusual characteristics you can recall? Just didn't like it, or would you say it was actually a... Well, if you're going to be obsessed, the pretenders are uh, <laughs> as good a band as any. So nothing? Have you ever okay. met anyone that did find them funny? OK, thank you. A nut allergy. What, was it any particular kind of nut, or...? No, just anything at all, anything that, uh, that occurs to you. I'm sorry, look, could you hold on a second, please? I just got another call. Hold on, thanks. Hello? Look, it's a really bad line, I can't hear you. Who is this? Just leave me alone. Please. Just leave me alone. Yes? Boss. Blood test results.
Jenna, I've been looking for the wrong things. I really His don't appearance, the way he operates. Oh, leave me alone. Look, look, look. Look, I just wanted to give you this. This should be easy enough to test without realising. What are you talking about? Identity signifiers. Jesus Christ. But are you going to keep the baby? It's a DNA link to him. If you keep it, he will try and kill you. Look, the ones that are marked are things that he can't change. He's colour blind, he has an allergy to nuts, he goes into an anaphylactic shock if he even so much think looks at a peanut. a court of law would ever listen to any of this rubbish? Jenna, all I care about is you. I don't want you to be his next victim. Mackenzie Stern, I'm arresting you for the murder of Lucius. Stern. What? You do not have to say anything. No. It may harm your defence. I you didn't don't kill her. I didn't kill her. Anything you later rely on in court, anything you do say may be given in evidence. Do you understand the caution? Jenna, this changes do nothing. Do you understand I, the Yes, caution. I'm right about your Husband, on, please, for your own peace of mind, try them. Please, try them. Where were you? I ran the clinic. I said you got a taxi. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm fine. Mr. Dean, I'm Detective Inspector Brennan. We spoke on the phone. Well, what's happened? Everything's fine now, Mr. Dean. Um, I'll leave you now. OK. Uh, uh, thanks again for waiting. At least I could do. I know. What was he doing here? Stone's been arrested for the murder of his wife. You're joking? No. It's over, John. They've completely exonerated you. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Do, it's true. What termination? I'm sorry. I couldn't go through with it. I couldn't. Oh, that is... That's fantastic. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. Right, Mac. <clears throat> you said your wife cleared your joint account. Yeah. She didn't. She did. Got these from your bank. Well, these are wrong. Come on, Mac. They come directly from the bank's computers. She cleared the account. You said she rang you. From Paris. These are calls received on your landline. These, your mobile. As you can see, no calls received from Paris. She called me. I heard the tannoy in the background in French. She called me on her mobile from Paris. No Lucia Stone booked a ticket to France. We've checked. The notes written on the same computer you have, printed on the same printer. And? We think you might have sent them yourself. No. We think part of you wanted to get caught. No. I didn't kill her. Then why did you lie? I didn't lie, I swear, I didn't... 
Ah, Jesus. What? He's done this. Who? To get me off his back. I told you to discredit me. John Dean. Dean West, Collins, they're all computer guys. He, he's hacked into the system and he's changed his records. <clears throat> so you'll have the original? No. Why? He stole them. He broke into my house and he stole them. And you reported this burglary, of course. No. Why? Because I thought I'd imagined it. Why is Lucia's blood on his sitting room wall, Matt? Her blood? Yes. Her blood's on the wall. You know it is. You try to wipe it off. Did I? Where is she? I don't know. I can't remember. Try harder. I can't remember. Really, I, I can't remember. Listen, I spoke to the Clattons this morning. How about taking their boat down to San Malo for the weekend, taking a few days off? On our own? Yeah, just the two of us. Three? Sorry, three. I think you really need it. What do you say? Sure, why not? Great. I'll sort everything out. Well, no one thinks you're a bad man, Mac. I know that whatever happened must have... Uh, must have been a moment of madness. <sighs> but you know you won't be able to deal with it until then. Um, until you admit it. Tell us where she is, Mac. What have you done with her? Tell us where she is, please. Hmm? Please. I need to be able to bury her. Oh, my God. You were seeing her? What? It was you. You were seeing Lucia. I can see her all over you. It's in your eyes. What have you done with her, Meg? You were supposed to be my friend. Where is she? My best friend. What have you done with her? How can you live with yourself? What have you done with her, you bastard? Out! Now! Out! I 
I'm sorry, Mac. And yeah. This is where I see her. And my dreams are. Five meter radius from this tree. That smells good. Well, it's going to be bangers and beans for the next few days, so I uh, thought I'd cook her something special. Have I, have I got time for a shower? Yeah. Oh, uh, there's a bottle of fizz over there. Pop it in the freezer, will you? What are we celebrating? Peace of mind. Boss, SIM card. Uniforms found it in the ditch. It would fit her phone. You must be able to remember and try. Really? Right now, this is all I can give you. Stop there for the night. Start again in the morning. Definitely one up from bangers and beans. Uh, napkins. I uh, bought some new ones there in the drawer. Grab them, could you? Oh, sure. Yeah. Can 
Because I've seen the dark side too. Paper or posh? Let's have the red ones. More babies after this, to Harry O'Pairs and us. <laughs> so, what we got? Thai chicken curry. Chicken? Mm hmm. And peanut. Love, you, you, you know I can't eat this. Why not? Yoghurt. Got to have yoghurt uh, and curry. Yes, of course. Yeah, I've got some in the fridge. I'll stand by you. Truth. Oh, this is good. Mmm. It's extremely bloody good. Go on, Jen, otherwise I won't be responsible for my actions. Mm. Whoa, what's funny? What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So, anything come to you? Overnight? You want to know where she is? Well, that's the general idea, Mac. I can see her right there. Jesus. going on?
came back a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to speak to you. So I wanted to speak to you, but God, it was just too difficult. That was you on the phone. And outside the house a couple of days ago. Yeah. What's been happening, Mac? Did I ever hit you? <laughs> I don't think you meant to. Arms were flying around. You were trying to stop me from leaving. I probably hit you too. How did we get so ugly? So... So why did you come back? Was it for him? I made two mistakes, Mac. He was one. And the other? Can't run away from your problems. It was a mistake to leave the way I did. But not to leave? No. I don't think so. But you're not sure? Fuck. I can change, Lucia. I can change. Mac. I just want to say that I'm sorry for everything. Um, whatever I suspected, I hope you know I thought I was doing the right thing. Lucia, <clears throat> I need to know where you went. Didn't you tell anyone? They need to hear it from you. I went to France. How did you get there? Eurostar. You bought the ticket in your own name? Who else's name would I have bought it in? Mac, I rang you from the station. And you cleared the bank account? Oh, God. Look, I'm sorry about the money. But I really had no choice. I had to take it. Come on.
Roger that. No response from their VHF, but Coast Watch logged them off the point about 10 minutes ago. You should get a visual in about 15. You all right? Yeah. This Mac, um, sorry, you know. Forget it. I'd do the same for you. You going somewhere? What? No, no. Um, you left the wheel unmanned. It's uh, dangerous. Oh, really? What are you doing? I reckon you should last about 15 minutes with that one there. What's the matter, John? Where is it? Where's what? I saw you, Jim, find it. I just went to get this. Oh, Jesus. Where is it? Say it's not true. Well, it is. But you eat the curry. Pistachio nuts, Jen. I can't eat pistachio nuts. Peanuts I love. It's a nice try, though. Oh, did I get the napkin drawn, by the way? I knew that tripped me up someday. Why, for God's sake, why? Do I do it? Oh, because I can. I mean, how dull to live life as just one person. Who hasn't dreamt of just disappearing and becoming someone else with a whole new personality, a whole new set of likes and dislikes, when you can choose to become someone else whenever you want? Now, who, if they were absolutely honest, wouldn't want that? I loved you. How could you love someone who doesn't exist? Now, give me the package. Throw it over. And if you do, I'll take my time killing you. I'm having your baby, for God's sake! Jen, when will you understand that's not a plus? Cut your engines. This is the police. I repeat, cut your engines. You stay there. Jenna, jump. We will pick you up. Jenna, jump. Now. Sorry for what you've been through. Have they found him yet? We'll send up a spot of plane. But you saw him go under. Yeah. Because he knows I have his child in me. He went under. And you never saw him come up? Well... Never say never. Um, you risked a lot for me. I want you to know I'll always be grateful.
night. You're starting a dream. If you fail, fine. Just try again. But never to have done that. Never to have even tried. Sure, that's the real thing. I'm sorry, I'm being very rude here. I haven't even introduced myself. My name's Matt. Matt Stone. 